Welcome back. Lightning looking for five straight wins as they start a back to back up in New York. A win would move Tampa Bay into a tie for the Southeast Division. They were at the Islanders this evening and on the power play early, which they lead the league in. And this is how you converge. Just put shots at the goal. Ryan Malone punching in his own rebound. One zip at that point. Second period, sloppy goal allowed here. Islanders just dump it in. John Tavares beats the defense, sets up PA Parento with just 17 seconds left in the period. That was a huge mistake. This went to overtime. Off a of deflection, Tavares hammers home the winner. 2-1 Islanders, solid game and net for Dan Ellis, but a tough one to lose on the road. Florida doesn't arrive until Sunday for the Outback Bowl. Penn State already here for a few days and for good reason. Have you seen the weather in the Northeast in December? Yeah. Joe Paterno, fresh off his 84th birthday, celebrated with two practices at the Phillies Complex over in Clearwater. With 60 freshmen and sophomores on the roster, Paterno looks for the bowl game to be a 2011 springboard, and he actually sees a lot of similarities with the Gators. Florida's a team with a lot of ability, uh, a little bit uh, inconsistent, and that's about the same as we are. Uh, we've been a little bit inconsistent. Uh, times we look like a decent football team. Florida offensive coordinator Steve Adazio will be done after the bowl game. Multiple reports that Temple has hired Adazio as head coach to replace Al Golden, who took the Miami job. Adazio has been on Urban Meyer's staff all six years in Gainesville. All right, at some point this year, we may find out who the real Florida Gator basketball team is. Wins at Florida State and against Kansas State were followed by duds, but a chance to bounce back from an embarrassing home loss to Jacksonville. That's because the Gators were hosting Radford and running early. Jumped out to a 13 point lead. Alice Tyus going to throw down the dunk part of his eight points and the Gator bench happy. Then Irving Walker took over. The Gator guard was smooth from three. Here's one of them. Then again, Walker, almost the same point. Five three-pointers on the night, back-to-back 20-point -back games for Walker as Florida wins 66-55. High school hoops, City of Tampa finals, unbeaten Blake and Tampa prep. Blake solid in the lane, that was Clarence Peterson with the floater. Josh Heath, though, tries to keep prep close, runner of his own. He would finish with 16, but just too many mistakes for prep down the stretch. Here's the pass stolen by Brandon Channer, and he's going to throw it down to seal the win. Blake remains unbeaten, 49-36 your final. And finally, in Pinellas County, Northside Christian hosting Palm Harbor. Hurricane just tough to stop. Steven McKellar fake the three, scoop and score. That's what we like to see. But the home crowd, something to cheer about here. Kyle Keck, nice pass to Jeffrey Golden. Even better finish for the Mustangs. However, the visitors were unkind. Cameron Evans, three ball, nails it. Palm Harbor wins the Christmas Classic over at Northside Christian. Obviously, lots of relaxation now with the next few days coming up at the Christmas break and then more holiday tournaments starting Monday.